All right, guys. Seven years later. Seven years since Dying Light 1. Can you believe it? Did anyone even think that this game would get a sequel seven years later? Seriously. I don't think anyone could have predicted that. I think you would have thought either you get no sequel or a sequel would have come out way earlier. We had to wait seven years for Dying Light to get a sequel. After having seen this game presented at multiple E3s, multiple digital press events. A whim of circumstance. At any time, the smallest flap of a butterfly's wings may set catastrophe in motion. Haran, an entire city wiped from the map. Those left behind there did not stand a chance. The world's greatest minds came together and found a vaccine against the Haran virus. Oh. Finally, mankind had prevailed against the disease. But people always want more. Despite a promise to shutter its labs, the GRE continued its research in secrecy for military purposes. It didn't take long for a variant of THV to escape into the world once more. You know... The fall happened more rapidly than anyone could have predicted. So basically the vaccine became worthless. It was a variant that it didn't affect. You know, I bet the bakers of this game weren't planning on developing it if during an actual survive, worldwide pandemic. Now live in right? small enclaves. <clears throat> the only means of contact between distant human settlements are lone individuals, brave or desperate enough to travel on their own across dangerous wastelands. Sounds familiar somehow. They are known <laughs> as pilgrims. Somewhere on or couriers. The map, one city is still standing. A city isolated from the outside world. A city with special rules. Now, it's the last bastion of humanity. Whoa. A chance for us to learn from history. And for once, make the right choices. Because every choice you make here shapes the future. Irreversibly. Zombie, zombie time! That's right. Isn't there a huge mechanic in the game is the day-to-night cycle where the zombies become way more dangerous at night because isn't it true that UV light destroys the virus? So... Basically, as long as you stay in the light, you're fine. But then the zombies also are weakened in the light. But if you go out at night, you're screwed, right? They can become, like, super powerful. I'm trying to remember, you know, from seven years ago, the premise of the game. But, man, isn't it creepy and crazy? Do you really think that Techland, when they were making this game, even ever fathomed that it would come out during a fucking pandemic when the game is about a pandemic? And they're talking about vaccines and variants, like... Holy shit. Man, has it brought that kind of stuff to light, huh? Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Some shout-outs before we get started. Swagnito has tipped $10 to become today's top tipper and says, This game has a weapon durability mechanic? Question mark. Did have issues with weapons breaking? Question mark. I'm not sure if you can repair weapons in the game without mods. Um, I don't know. Did the first game have a durability mechanic? I think it did, if I remember correctly. I think it did. Um, I don't remember if it was an issue. Then again, my first run in Dying Light 1 was so full of bugs, I don't even know if half the shit in the game worked properly to begin with, right? Like, maybe the weapon durability is supposed to be an issue, but I have no recollection if it ever was for me. Um, I guess we'll find out. Captain Charisma tipped a dollar fifty. says, I can see how my views might be biased as an enthusiast in the hardware and software side of things, but I see... Your views as an adult can under understand that. Hope you enjoy the game and have a good time. All right. We were talking earlier about gimmicks and all kinds of stuff. So that's kind of unrelated to the game. But thank you for the tip there. Nick tipped a dollar fifty. He says, Dying Light 2 is like the first time I played Skyrim. It's so amazing. There's fun side quests, a good world to explore. Hope you love it. And save the goat. You'll understand later. Oh, so apparently there's a goat you need to save. All righty then. Maybe you can make some cheese out of its milk or something. 
Okay, excellent. Also, on the YouTube side of things, we have FandyAndy123, who has become a channel member. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have actually an announcement that we have the most members ever right now on DSP Gaming. 358. We've never had that many before. A new record. Someone had asked, what's the re what happens if we hit 400 this month? Uh, a viewer's choice uh, playthrough. You guys will be nominating and voting on a game that I'll do a full playthrough of as a result of hitting the goal for the month. Okay? And also, Marxist Carl did a super chat. He says, My body, my choice. Arrest Dr. Fauci. Well, it's one of the stupidest things I've ever heard. But anyway, Marxist Carl, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. See, here's the funny part, too, about that. So we're in a worldwide pandemic, right? And people are all up in arms about vaccines. My body, my choice. What if it was a zombie pandemic? And if you don't get vaccinated, the zombie can eat you and turn you into a zombie. Is it still your body, your choice? Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> all right. So here we go. Let's adjust the brightness a little bit. By the way, at night, this the original game was dark as fuck. So I'm actually going to go up like three ticks. And if it ends up being way too bright, we'll adjust. But I just remember nighttime was like super duper dark. This looks fine. Looks like it's filling my entirety of my television. So that's good. Come on. Move faster. There's no way anyone could possibly fucking read this. You don't have a week. By the way, these legal agreements would never hold up in court. Because there's no way that you could pr prove that anyone ever read it. <laughs> it would never hold up in court if anyone actually sued. Anyway, here we go. We got a cursor moving with the left thumbstick as if to simulate you're on PC. Not sure how I feel about that. Uh, options. Oh, uh, let's see here. There's streamer mode. If you're a content creator, you can toggle this option to avoid playing licensed music. On, the game will mute any licensed music. Off, the game will play licensed music. Fuck it, we'll turn it on then. And if it ends up sounding silent, then I'll turn it off. But we'll, we'll turn it on for now. Okay. Audio output. Oh, fuck. Let's do headphones with a high dynamic range. I'm using neck phones that actually do have surround sound, so I guess we'll see. Subtitle size, we'll go with large. Subtitle color, let's go with cyan. Speaker color, gray. Now let's go with uh, yellow. Nah, yellow's annoying. Red? Now we'll go with gray. Subtitles, background color, transparent. Okay. I think we're good. All right, everything else I think we'll just leave on default. Okay. Okay. New game. Normal difficulty. Balanced experience for the majority of gamers. There you go. Everyone knows I am the majority or representative of the majority of gamers. We all know that. What's going on, Guts? Good to see you here today. Here we go. Hobo X is low dynamic means quiet things will be boosted to average volume and loud things are lower to average volume. Might be better for the stream. Oh. 2036. Not too far off. 15 years after the fall. So the fall was supposed to happen in 2021. Oops. Well, we did have a pandemic in 2021, but it wasn't zombies. It was something else. Okay. Parkour! It's time for parkour! Oh, look at that beautiful mountain. This guy looks like he has a prosthetic left arm. He does have a prosthetic. No, wait. No, he had something in his arm that he dropped. It looked prosthetic at first, but I think he dropped an item. Parkour, parkour, yeah! Woohoo! You still got it. You know, this game used to be more fun. <coughs> and you used to be younger. I had dumber. What matters is, you're still just as fast. 
Because a slow pilgrim yeah, is a, a dead, dead pilgrim. pilgrim. Yeah, I know, I know. Get up here. I want to show you something. He's going to show me his balls again, isn't he? Jeez, it's like the tenth time he's done that. The pilgrim's path. Ooh, the grass blows in the in the nice air, the breeze. Oh. Crouch with B. A does nothing. X does nothing. Y spins you around completely so you can see behind you. That's kind of rare. I don't think I can even name another game series where you press Y, it completely spins you right round, baby, right round like a record baby. Wow. Shadow is incredibly detailed. It kind of makes you look like a guy on stilts. Or like, like Slender Man or something. But it's actually nice. Look at that. That's very detailed shadow. You don't want to fall down there. By the way, the zombies are still over there and they stink. Look at how stinky that zombie is. A big cloud of funk coming off of him. Gotta get that guy some, uh... Uh, what's the name of that, that cologne? That fucking Johnny Depp wears? Okay, right bumper jumps. It's kind of unique. Sauvage. Get them a bottle of Sauvage to squirt all over their zombie bodies. Now, how do you run? Maybe left thumbstick? Oh, hold on. Can you try out quality mode when looking at scenery like this to compare to 60 frames mode? Well, right now, this is definitely 60 frames mode, okay? Let's take a look. I'm curious, what are the different modes? We haven't looked at this yet. Um, video? It's in performance mode. Quality, resolution. Oh, resolution. We definitely don't need resolution. You would think resolution would be, uh, if you're going for 4K, which I'm not. So let's try quality mode. Oh, fuck. It's choppy as dick. Look how choppy that is when I turn. Yo, that's real bad. Right? Oh, my God. Who could play it like this? Oh, that looks terrible. I mean... Does it even look any better? Right? Does it even look any better? Not really. The detail looks about the same as what we were looking at. I don't really look, notice it looking any different than when we had it in performance mode. The graph looks the same, right? But my God. Here, here's what we'll do. Okay, we're staring at this car right now. Okay, you see the level of paint, detail, everything on the car? Okay. It looks the fucking same. Only now we're running at 60 frames. It looks exactly the fucking same. <laughs> I, don't, I see zero difference between the two modes. Um, Alright, just for the hell of it. Just for the fucking hell of it. Let's do resolution mode. Okay, honestly... Resolution mode looks less choppy than quality mode. It's kind of a steady 30 frames, I would say, right? It's it's this is definitely playable. So if you care about having optimal resolution, I would say this is the way to go. It do, it's not that bad. It's definitely it's it's definitely a, a downgrade from performance, but at least I can play it. You know what I'm saying? Um that quality mode was unplayable. That was that was bad, man. So let's go back to performance. Oh, that's, look at that. Gorgeous. 60 frames. All right, good. By the way, I put up my dukes. So that's just right trigger. Puts up your dukes. And it looks like there's a stamina meter. Yeah, stamina meter. Okay. This is the Xbox Series X version of the game. Okay. Are you guys ready now? Let's actually play the game. So if I remember correctly, the original game was 30 frames, right? We didn't play it at 60. I'm pretty sure it was a 30 frame game. This is now a 60 frames game in performance mode. So that's a huge improvement over the original. <clears throat> okay. Nice. 
Some people are saying the stream looks blurry as fuck. Well, there's a combination of reasons why that would be. Number one, my PC. My PC is not great. My PC now is, what, eight years old? And it cannot handle a lot of graphical detail. It just can't. When you see a ton of shit on the screen, whenever I'm playing a game like this, it will absolutely positively destroy my PC. I guarantee you what ends up happening is the bitrate is going crazy when I'm trying to move. And when that's happening, it's causing blurriness for you guys. Okay? And there's nothing I can do about that at all. What's likely happening is my CPU is going sky high. Like, my CPU is probably just going, you know, apeshit. Trying to shit, render man. this game for you guys. You're still strong. Climb to the ledge. There we go. Thanks. It's good to see you, Spike. I mean, how long has it been? Far too long. But don't get all mushy on me now. Come, I want to show you something. Where we He's going? all fucked up, but how much you want to bet? In an apocalypse like this, incredible. apocalyptic setting, everyone looks incredible. like that, right? Like everyone's probably been in survival two, situations. Their the all bodies are all fucked up. For what? Four years now, <clears throat> and you're still alive. So are you? I know, but I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Seriously, I wish I had as much energy as you. Got a new lead on Jane? Jade, I'm really sorry to hear that. I wish you the best. Jade says, he's, sadly, he's in the hospital. And he hasn't been able to watch for a few days, but he misses everyone. Jade, I really wish you that you get get well soon. I don't know what's going on with you, but I hope you feel better, man. Uh, <clears throat> Lyle tipped a dollar fifties. His console gamer experiences graphic settings for the first time. Uh, no, we do this in every game now, actually. It's good because now this console gen, it seems like you get these kind of options no matter what game you play. I'll give you a perfect example. <clears throat> My wife is currently playing Skyrim Anniversary Edition on the play PS4 Pro. That game gives you exactly zero graphical options. Zero. You just play it. And what's funny about it is it looks great when you're not moving. As soon as you start to move, the game chops up like crazy. The frame rate's terrible. What they did is they, they increased all the graphical settings of the game for the Anniversary Edition and then proceeded to not do anything about the frame rate and didn't care. So they're, you're trying to fight and sometimes it's like 10, 20 frames per second. It's like uncontrollable. I don't know what they were thinking with that. So that's why this console gen, I'm very happy to have options. Options are very, very useful. Especially when you paid so much for nah, your goddamn console. You want to have options. You don't want to be stuck with only one option and it sucks. Eh, Baines, what a shithole. Some five rickety huts left and a ramshackle fence. Nobody there had heard of her. <laughs> so she must have gone to Gary. In that case, I'll head north. Now first head east. Then think about going north. Why? Haven't you heard? Bridge over the Scraw is gone, swept away by that flood this spring. Who's this voice Head actor? the old fjord. He sounds very familiar. Anyone know who the voice actor is for the Look protagonist? Because he A sounds super familiar to me. Can't let an opportunity like this go to waste. Uh, no way. Oh, look around. If we're lucky, there's chamomile growing here too. Chamomile. Chamomile tea is excellent. Collect honey and chamomile. What the fuck? Did you hear that? I heard a zombie. Pick up chamomile. Common resource. Okay. Well, I think we know where we're going to get our honey. Is it a little fucking dangerous to grab honey straight out of a fucking beehive? If you tested my patience, <laughs> friend, you're doing really well. Yeah, that's what I always do. Whenever I'm in the mood for honey, I just start reaching right inside of fucking hives, ignoring the insects. Right. Yeah, this will do. <laughs> so here we go. Scan with the right thumbstick. <clears throat> there you go. No, it's not Mark Hamill. How dare you even say that? Like, I can't recognize. His name is Jonah Scott. He's done animes and other games. He sounds very familiar. I think I've heard him in something recently, actually. I wonder what it is. What other projects you he's done that, that maybe I've heard of. We help this <clears throat> of village. Oh, yeah, the one that had that saying. Um, remember, chamomile and honey are gifts that keep giving. Combine them and lucky you. You just might go on living. <laughs> 
Do they make clever rhymes about everything in the zombie apocalypse? Oh, they want me to craft. <clears throat> uh, you've received your first blueprint. Blueprints are plans that allow you to create accessories, consumables, weapon modifications, and craft parts. This is where all, you'll store all of your crafting items. Read the craft part descriptions to see how they're used and where you can find them. Over here is a medicine blueprint. Hold A to craft this. Okay, we made medicine. Chamomile and honey. How exciting. They turned it into Far yeah, Cry. I know, that definitely seems like a Far Cry mechanic right there. Right? <laughs> don't be a dumb jock and don't be a nerd. Shake off those zombies like you break off a turd. <laughs> there you go. They just make little rhymes about everything. Achievement! You never forget your first. Craft your first item. How exciting. Come on. All right. Oh, you go back out. You can go back in. How exciting. I love it. I love it. Wow. Look at this place. <laughs> somebody had a nice crib. This is somebody's house? Oh. I didn't even understand that. And by the way, look at how big fortified walls around it. Locked. I'll try to get through here. You check the other side. Take Gotta break on through to the other side. Yeah, sure. Break on through to the other side. You gotta crawl down here. Very nice. We might have to fight our first zombie. Nothing in there. I was hoping for a weapon. Nope. You know, it's times like this I'm happy I upped the brightness because without upping it, I probably wouldn't be able to see shit right now. But I can actually see now because I did up it. Ooh, first aid. Empty. You, you fucker. That was just rude. That was a tease. You made me think there was a good item. There ain't nothing there. By the way, we just, we're about to hit 200 likes on today's premiere stream of Dying Light 2. Thank you to everyone watching, supporting, and liking the stream. This helps a lot, so thank you guys so very much. Oh, a nice bar, huh? Yeah, they had a big bar here. A big open-air kitchen, which is very nice. There's a door. Oh, I don't want to open that yet. I want to investigate the kitchen. Let's see. Oh, what's this? Uh, rags. A common resource. They had one of those in-wall uh, in microwave and oven, it looks like. Nothing in here. This hasn't worked in a while. It's all disgusting. Cleaned out. You can tell people probably... Brian sacked this place a long time ago and took all the resources. Except for this bar of soap. <laughs> a bar of soap just in there. Five years later, who remembers Haran? Is there any hope left for the thousands of people trapped in Haran? Well, considering they're all fucking zombies, I don't think so. <laughs> uh. Oh, look at this. Notebook paper. Locked. Okay. What's that, like a blackboard? Yeah, it looks like a, like a blackboard they would write on, but they can't now. Alright, I guess, uh... I guess we're going through this door here. By the way, it's nice abstract art. Uh-oh, get ready. I'm ready. First zombie. <laughs> What the? Hey, everything all right? Yeah, just rats. I think it's time we parted ways. Why? I'm starting to worry about you. And you know our saying. If you're starting to worry about someone, it means it's time to go. Huh? What does that mean? He was afraid? Well, isn't it true? I'm trying to remember the plot from the original game. In the original game, wasn't it part of the plot that everyone is infected? Everyone has this zombie infection. But the way the thing is, they found a way to stab it off. Like, for example, if you stay in the light, the UV, or if you stay in UV light, then you can't be overcome by the virus. 
Um, and that's why it's such a, so important to always have a UV light on you so that you can stop yourself from turning. I think that was a mechanic in the first game. I'm trying to really remember. Um, in general, you know, it's hard. It's hard to remember after seven effing years the plot points, but I'm pretty sure that was a major plot point. So if everyone's always infected, then yeah, I could see why he'd be concerned. You could think that any time you could turn into a zombie, and I can understand why he'd be concerned about that, right? Okay. According to Jamie, he says, Right now on YouTube Gaming, I'm the number three person streaming this game. At least in his list that showed up when he searched for this game. So that's kind of, kind of cool. And it might be based on the amount of likes you guys gave me. So thank you so much for that. Survival Sense Tingling. Aha. Uh -huh. I wonder how the wine tasted back then. Now, wait a minute. I didn't use my survivor sense in the room before. Oh, shit. I missed a bunch of stuff. Whoa, I actually missed a lot of stuff. Hold on. Look at this. Cigarettes. Oh, those are very important in the apocalypse. Let me tell you guys. Nothing in there? Nothing. Okay. Good. I can search all this shit. Nothing here. Stinky laundry. They never washed it. The last spring party. party. Yeah, but by then, the GRE would have long since lost control of the virus. Right, because didn't they say uh, 2021 was supposedly when the virus took everything over? Here we go. The UV light was used to keep volatile zombies away at night. Right, because isn't it true that the zombies, they hate UV light? That's why they, they rarely would come out during the day. And when they come out during the day, they're way weaker than they are at night. I think that was the plot point of the first game. A game mechanic. Who do you voodoo? Hm. Bitch. Sounds familiar. That's a reference to fucking die or uh, Dead uh, Dead Island, which was another Techland game, right? Yeah. Who do you voodoo, bitch? And then that shit got dropped. They never made another one. Didn't they say they were making a Dead Island too? They never did. Not a zip. 2019 is apparently when the fall happened in the plot of the game, I'm being told. Dead Island, a game with a great premise and bad execution. It was a great co-op game, but man, it almost never worked properly. <laughs> Always had issues, people dropping in, dropping out, cra the game crashing. What happened? Investigate. And that's what they called art? Yeah, it looks like someone took a shit all over it. <laughs> and a bloody shit, too. That's even worse. Ugh. <clears throat> Yoink! What's in here? <laughs> a holy t-shirt. Great. Oh, shit! He's worried about me. Look at him up in my face. Yeah, Rogue, no, this is uh, this game series is by the same people who made Dead Island. That's correct. This was their next game after Dead Island. Oh, wait, there was something in there. Resin. There was something in there. I made fun of it. <clears throat> There's going to be a zombie in here somewhere. Ew. Well, here's where the people died. Yuck. Sorry, Dave. Goodbye. Suicide? That's yeah, pills. Breaking. They OD. They owed purposely OD'd so not to turn into zombies. There's nothing like a party to celebrate the end of the world. Well, wait, that doesn't make sense. They died on their own terms. Let's hope we get that lucky too. <sighs> I'll see what's upstairs. You check out the garden, okay? Is that true? Okay. But wait a minute. If they're all infected, okay? If they kill each other with even with drugs, that would prevent them from turning into a zombie. 
that's an interesting take because in some zombie lore, you know, over the years, the only way to stop yourself from becoming a zombie would be to, like, you know, uh, like a headshot or, or sever your spine. In this case, they took, they OD'd on drugs and they didn't turn into zombies. So I guess in this game, it's a lot different, the plot. Okay. What's that? Hide area? Uh-oh. Why would I need to hide? Probably zombies coming. Explore the garden. Yeah, look, you could hide underneath a, a piano right there. How do we get in there? How do we get in there? <clears throat> okay. They're just... Oh, cool. I see. So they're showing you the hide mechanic a little early so you can understand it. I wonder if we'll need to use it if zombies show up. We might, we might need to use it. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, look. They all took pills. Every one of them. So it's like a giant group of people got together here at this mansion at, like, estate, and all decided to commit suicide together so they would not become zombies. It's pretty fucking depressing, but, man, it is true. At least they went out on their own terms, right? They all went out together. They went out relaxed. Right? Look, he went out listening to his favorite tunes. Right? Huh. This guy just sat here and looked at the pool. Damn. It's kind of depressing and sad. The music right now is actually quite somber. It's making me feel very sad. Look at this guy. What is that? She was classy. Why? What was she reading? She was reading... Metamorphosis? I guess she was reading a book and drinking wine. photo <clears throat> hmm. at least they had each other thank you very much to the one viewer that YouTube says I have on stream YouTube's been having glitches all day with the viewership it says I have one or two viewers then it says I have hundreds so obviously YouTube's kind of messed up today I don't know what happened it's kind of silly but thanks to everyone who's on stream we actually have really good attendance today I appreciate that <clears throat> Damn, it is really sad. Damn, there's so many people here. They invited a good amount of people here to get together. Huh. A note. No, a, a picture, excuse me. Oh, there is a note. I was correct. Dearest Mary, I'm sorry I ran from you. They say that once the virus makes you turn... You're gone forever. That can't be true. I know you're still in there, underneath all that pain and disease. I'm coming to join you. No more running. Jeez, that's fucking sad. Hey, come here. Check this out. Goodbye letter collected. Master Parkour. I don't know, the last game where I had a main character named Aiden, Aiden Pierce, it didn't go so well. Maybe they, they made a major misstep naming him Aiden. Anything down here? This is a whole different part of the house over here, right? Yeah, look. Okay, this is where we've already been. That's where we came from. But we hadn't been up this staircase yet. Alright. End of the world party. to be more accurate. I've just found it by the owner's dead body. May it be more use to you. 
Carver's weapon. Here. Oh! Why is there piss in this bottle? I got Dark you flat. again. <laughs> Look at you and your sophisticated palate. Drink. Who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? Yeah, at least until night falls. True. I wish Crane could have seen this. Wh who? Doesn't matter. I tracked down that guy for you. <laughs> oh, there's dialogue choices. Now, they actually had said during this game's development, okay, that there was going to be dialogue choices in the game that were actually going to change the outcomes. So, depending on how you react and who you decide to side with during the course of the playthrough, it could dramatically change the outcomes, okay? So, uh, let's see here. Now, I'm sure this isn't going to matter to the intro, but we have to actually be careful about what we say over the course of the game. What guy? Hey, what, what, what guy? Quit pretending. You became a pilgrim to track that fucker down. Waltz, I found someone who knows him. <clears throat> Why didn't you say so earlier? Waltz. Hey, what? And you're only telling me now? <laughs> when I tossed you a beer, thought you'd guess right away we were celebrating. <laughs> the guy's in Villador. Supposedly he knows something about Waltz. Villador. I saw him that close, huh? Hey, I got a favor to ask you. Yeah, I think I've heard this guy with this voice actor in an anime. You deliver this to I think Gary. I have. It's on your way. People don't like pilgrims there, but, but they pay well. <laughs> and where do people like pilgrims? Well, they're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. <laughs> Maybe. Boom, something needs to be transported through the hordes of infected. And suddenly, they're knocking on our doors. All right, but you owe me one. Uh, not just one. So, what about that guy? Well, I talked to him over the radio. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got something to hide. See that antenna on the hill? That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening for you at dawn on a frequency of 140.200 megahertz. Hmm. Told him he'd hear from you soon. Do you know what he wants in return? What does he want in return? Didn't say. But he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for free. <laughs> I don't think that kind of guy exists. <laughs> what? What about me? You're an old fart who likes racing me and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. She's not crazy. Jane's just maybe, well, a little hot-headed. And she's always getting herself into trouble. But if you could get a load of her... <laughs> Whoa, all right. Still too early in the evening for that sort of talk. Eyes. <laughs> I was going to say eyes. <laughs> Beautiful. Steely. Huge. Never heard anyone get so worked up about gray eyes. Because you don't know shit about the world, let alone women. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm telling you, I'll finally find Jane. We'll set up a house. We're going to live there. No one's going to drive us out. And I'll stop wondering like a moron. I'll drink to that. At least they threw it in the water. That's smart. Instead of making and a loud what? glass smashing sound. What's his attracting deal? Zombies. Is he family? No. Not at all. <laughs> then why are you looking for him? Will you tell me sometime? No, yeah. not at all. Yeah, one day. Well, <laughs> my time's up. So when will I see you again, huh? In another two years? Maybe. Take care, man. I hope you find that Waltz guy. Or whoever you're looking for. And remember, 140.200 megahertz. At dawn, the guy's waiting for you. <clears throat> okay. I got the grubby bag. Here it is. <clears throat> You block? I don't know how you block. All right, they want me to get to the radio antenna. Oh, 
from here we can just leave. See, we're gonna leave the building and go out into the open. Okay. Survivor sense. <laughs> no, no, this is not the same voice actor as Aiden from Watch Dogs. No, no, no. What I was saying is the guy's name is Aiden. And I don't know many games where the main character's name has been Aiden besides, like, Watch Dogs rings a bell. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, YouTube's all screwed up, guys. As you can see, it's saying, oh, over 400 viewers. Two viewers. <laughs> so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Um, so, what do we got here? This is crafting. This is your weapon, your image. That's what you look like, huh? How do you maintain your fade haircut in the zombie apocalypse, exactly? <laughs> Very realistic. Um, let's see here. It's just your armor. Here's your consumable medicine. Crafting skills, collectibles, hints, journal. Here it is. It's marked. Okay. No map yet. Map is not yet available. Okay. Can you save whenever you want? No. Apparently the game has an autosave system and you cannot save whenever you want. What's going on? Wait. Oh, I heard a zombie. Scream. The scream of the zombie. I guess we have to jump in the water. Okay. Woohoo! B dives, right bumper surfaces. The call of the zombie. Woo! You heard it? <laughs> the hills are alive with the sound of zombie. Ooh, I see movement. Looks like it's just uh, a breeze. There could be a zombie inside. Uh, biters. Oh, nice. A biter! <laughs> Here's one. Our first Zambies. This poor guy's in, in a, like a house coat, you know, like a robe. Okay. Oh, hello. Definitely a different beginning than uh, the first game. I just think I remember in the first game, the first zombie is a jump scare. It pops out of like a closet. And I remember distinctly kicking the living shit out of it because you didn't even have a weapon at that point. So I just kept kicking the fuck out of it till it like turned into a, bo a ball of paste. Okay. Here we go. Scrap. Oh, there's something outside. I'll have to search that. Resin. Chamomile, that's how you make the healing items, right? What's that? Oh, beehive, that's how you get the honey. Alcohol, uncommon resource. Man, you gotta be scanning constantly in this game. Look, another beehive. This is the bravest motherfucker. He just puts his hands right inside of fucking beehives and rips the honey out of them. <laughs> Dude, he's like fucking... You know, a brave bear, right? Jeez. What did I just get? A plumber's hammer? <laughs> Calvin one-handed hammer. Okay. That's the objective? Get to the radio antenna. Oh, shit. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. So these zombies are quite quiet. He didn't, that guy didn't make a noise till I hit him. Hmm. Can you climb vines? No, you cannot. So we have to find another way up. Can't go up here. Huh. I'll have to climb 
here, but this is a dead end. Shit. Swim. Nothing in these boxes? No. Oh, you can climb in the vehicle. That's interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, what do I grab here? Weird. I just keep jumping back and forth, I guess. Yeah, look. Well, that's interesting. Huh. Oh, shit. Oh. Almost fell. Here we go. All right, nice. Made it. Uncharted? Yeah, it's like first person Uncharted right there. That was kind of interesting. <clears throat> Zambi. Nope, these guys are dead. Not Zambi. Ugh, they got no feet. Ew. They're completely eaten by the zombies already. Okay, I guess we gotta climb. Yep. Okay, don't get close to the biters or they'll wake up. So in this case, we're doing stealth. Here we go. <clears throat> Marty, no. He says, Marty says... You know, for a lot of people, this is looking blurry. Do I think... Oh, God, I don't want to alert that guy. Do I think that if I streamed at 720p, it would be better? No, I don't. I really don't think so, because 720p, already, you would have way less clarity. You know what I'm saying? Because it's already more pixelated, less resolution. There's just really nothing that can be done. You know, when I'm playing it, I'm in the city. It probably won't be a big deal. Right? Just right now, we're out in these woods with all these leaves and stuff. And yes, the... It has a lot of issue rendering all of this for you guys because there's so much detail, you know. I tell you right now, my process is probably at about 70-80% doing all this detail with all these leaves and shit. Alright, I got through it and it did not alert any of the zombies. So that's good. A petroleum tank. I guess I wanted to throw it at them. I don't have any way to blow it up though. Welcome to Misty Forest. Looks beautiful, look. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Happy music, happy times. <laughs> yes, happy times out here in the zombie apocalypse. I always enjoy relaxing music like I'm playing Firewatch in the zombie apocalypse. Forest retention area. Please do not disturb the local wildlife. Look at that view. Look at this. Wow. Dying light, too. I really feel like I'm playing a zombie apocalypse game right now, don't I? Holy shit. Beautiful. Don't worry. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of horror coming up. <clears throat> well, it looks like we need to find a way to platform across this. From over here. Yes, here we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's just bees again. Go ahead. Stick your fucking hands in there. Get that honey. Suck it out. In fact, I just pick up the whole beehive with both hands. I punch a hole in it. I just eat the honey out with all the bees fucking going all over me. Oh, no, 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 it's good. I love it. One of my favorite pastimes. Oh, now come on, wait a minute. Oh, shit. Seriously? Come on! It's right there! I missed it. I gotta go back and do it again. Fuck. I was doing what it said. I held it, and he didn't really do smooth motion like I was expecting him to. <clears throat> okay. Ready? What is going on? 
This is supposed to be the tutorial, and he's falling. I'm doing exactly what they say. Run and hold right bumper. <laughs> oh, I tapped and mashed it, and it worked. I thought you were just supposed to hold it. I guess you need to tap and mash. Okay. The National Park. More bees? Seriously, there's more bees out here than I've ever seen in my fucking life. That's a lot of fucking bees. Don't tell fucking Nicolas Cage. <laughs> here we go. Wait, is he using his hands? What? He just ziplined across that with his bare hands and didn't rip all the flesh off of them. This guy must have the most calloused hands of anyone I've ever seen. Wow. Don't disturb the wildlife. This is all broken, so we can't do that because all the, the rungs of the ladder have broken off. Oh, a cave. I don't like that. Let's get our weapon out. I'll be honest with you guys, I was not expecting a nature intro at all. I thought the whole game would be in the city. I had no idea we'd be in nature like this. It's interesting, but it kind of makes me feel like this isn't representative of what the game's going to be. Because, oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, Oh, here we go. Ready? That's the kick. So that's you used to do that all the time in the first game. That was actually your first attack that you had in the original game. Because you didn't have a weapon at the start, but you still had to fight zombies. <clears throat> it's starting to get dark. I don't know if I, how I feel about this. Remember what happens at night. The zombies get tougher. Parkour skill point earned. Okay. You leveled up your parkour proficiency and you earned your first parkour skill point. You can now use it to unlock your first parkour skill. <clears throat> okay. High jump allows you to reach higher ledges when you hold the right bumper while jumping. Hover over the skill icon to read its description and check its requirements. So basically, this is the only thing I can get. It's a starter, and then after that, you can buy different ones that branch out. But I had to get high jump first. <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> Almost there. Which is hilarious because you need it right now. <laughs> you literally need it at this very moment. Here you go. There's a dam out there. Look at that. I forget where this game takes place. Where where is the city of Haran or whatever? Like we're where, where are we in the United States that this takes place? Anyone anyone actually know? Oh, it's already dark. It's time to hide somewhere for the night. It won't get any better than this. Am I climbing this? Alright, so looks like we gotta try to find a way in. Right there, I guess maybe we climb up the pipe and jump in the window. What's over here to get in here? Why is it glowing? A nuclear zombie. What the fuck? 
Some enemies use power attacks that deal massive damage and can knock you down. When an enemy is about to use a power attack, his health bar starts blinking red. Dodge to avoid being hit. To perform dodge, push right bumper when moving back or to a side. What the heck? What the fuck? Whoa. Fuck. What? There's more. Jesus. That was close. Holy crap. Oh. So we have special infected that are have special abilities already. We just started. None of these guys have anything on them, by the way. Scraps. Now can I go in here? Okay. <laughs> Spiller saying this might be in Europe, actually. Oh yeah. Fire extinguisher? I wonder if I could have used that during the fight. Raggedy chopper. Turn on the power generator. <clears throat> Aha! Well, now we can fucking see. Good. Maybe now we can actually get inside. And that's what we were supposed to do, actually. Yup. You. Broadcast station should be here somewhere. <laughs> Piles of fucking innards. Yummy. Yummy. Ryuto Mastermind says these buildings seem too American. Why does he speak with an English accent if he's in Europe? Right, I don't know. I don't understand this yet. Crap. This sounds like licensed music to me, and I already I turned on streamer mode, so I don't know why it's playing. <laughs> I have no clue. What was the point of having a lock on the outside of the door? Right? That's freaking weird. Yeah, I don't know what this song is. And I, I turned on streamer mode. I totally did. I'll double check to make sure it's on. Streamer mode on. And it's still playing music with lyrics, so hopefully it's not considered licensed music. It screws me over. <clears throat> well, we got bloody footprints. Ew. What a bunch of bugs. Valuables. Rice and alcohol. These are all different ways you can exit, I guess. Another raggedy chopper. What am I supposed to do with these? I don't think you have the ability to improve any weapons or anything yet, right? <clears throat> Look. Investigate. Someone moved them. Not long ago. <clears throat> it's been moved. Okay, let's give it a try. All right, probably a secret room over here. <sighs> UV light, that's a good sign. A human wants to actually stay alive. Safe zones. 
Use to unlock the first safe zone, increasing your network of respawn points. All safe zones are equipped with a UV light, which guarantees your safety at night. Additionally, each safe zone offers access to a resting place, where you can change the day and night phase, and eat in stash, where you can leave your excess items. Okay. <clears throat> this is it. The broadcast station. Wait until morning. Access your stash. Here's your inventory. I don't know what any of these stats mean. Like, this is one, three, two, four. I don't know. I don't know what those mean. Equip different medicine and gloves. Okay. Electrical parts. Gang green. Common machete. Use? Do we want to use this? Hey, let's roll. It was this. Yep. I remember. 140. Excuse me. Uh, this is Aiden. Over. Anyone there looking for a pilgrim? Over. Uh, I guess I have to wait until morning. You try the frequency, but that'll give your, uh, your location away, again right? Alright, so there's nothing else to do but sleep. Oh, wait. There's another a pack of cigarettes there. Alright, I guess we'll sleep. It's dark as fuck. <laughs> Whole game is dark. Looks like a scientist in a lab coat. Shh. It'll be all right. Huh. Totally not a traumatizing flashback or anything. Just taking them to a nice hot dog meal, I'm sure. The heck's going on? Experiments on children. Wait here. Sure seems that way. They're all Nothing bald. Good will come of this. Have you brought twelve three four six? We were supposed to take the patients back to the city. Don't worry. They'll let us go soon. Baby, I'm scared. I'm here with you. You're safe with me. Faces. Even if they separate us, this is how we'll always find each other. Huh? How? What? Uh, Aiden! Not him, no! Mia! Aiden! What the hell is going on? Don't experimenting on these kids. The military will be here any moment. Wait. Dr. Waltz is who he's looking for. Close your eyes. <sighs> so his head was already shaved. Huh. Were they possibly experimenting to try to find, like, a fire, cure? Fire the but they're experimenting on these kids? <clears throat> See you later, Yudo Mastermind. <clears throat> 
That's a weird looking fire. <laughs> Damn, imagine always having you have a dream of that every night. You can't get out of your fucking head, your traumatic past. Ugh. <clears throat> Time to contact the guy Spike was talking about. Now they force you to do it. You're forced, you can't do anything else. You can't even take a leak. This is Aiden. I'm on frequency 140.200 megahertz. Hello? Aiden? It, yes. I was supposed to get in touch with you. I thought you'd change your mind. Why are you looking for Waltz, Pilgrim? To find someone else. Her name is Mia. Fifteen years ago, we were in a hospital together and... I know who you're looking for, Aiden. You want to know why Waltz was doing those experiments on all of you. Why you are stronger, more durable than others. Now, I just want to find Mia. I've been looking for her since I left the survivor's camp. I... Can you help me or not? Maybe I can. Let's meet, Pilgrim. Where and when? Entrance to the metro tunnel by the bay. You can get inside the tunnels through an open GRE hatch. I'll meet you there. I take it you're not doing this for free. I have to leave the city, but I won't make it on my own outside. Take me to New Paris, and we're even. Along the way, I'll tell you everything I know. New Paris. Now. Wait. I have to at least know if she's alive. She's alive. I'm going to the rendezvous. I'll see you later, Rita. There's the radio tower. Look at that. Cool. And now the music gets nice again. It's weird, the game has some nice music in it. For a zombie game, you know, you wouldn't expect, like, this nice, atmospheric, relaxing music. <laughs> but it actually is quite relaxing. Okay. Well, we're on, I guess we're going to the radio tower? Yeah, or actually we're going past the radio tower, it looks like. Alright, cool. Cool.